Hello and welcome to the Yorkshire Football Show Extra here on TV Yorkshire. It's been a year of incredible lows and, well, limited highs for Leeds United, but it'll at least start 2016 in the top half of the Championship table. The Whites drew 2 all with Derby County at Ellen Road on Tuesday night to earn a highly creditable point. After going 1-0 down early on, goals from Sol Bamba and Chris Wood gave the Whites the lead before a late equaliser from Tom Ince. Leeds head coach Steve Evans says it was a tremendous effort from his players. It was always going to be a, a big ask. I think enough has been said that we, we felt from a football perspective, from a sporting integrity point of view, we felt really disadvantaged that a team as good as Derby could have an extra day's recovery. And I think when you go in front, probably 71, 72 minutes, then that's probably when you need the oxygen masks in a normal week. So to have it when you played 40 hours before makes it a double oxygen mask. And that's probably why Derby got a point tonight. It was a tremendous effort though, wasn't it, to come from behind. And in fairness, it took a, a bit of real skill to, to stop you from winning, didn't it? Yeah, it did. You know, he's a, he's a gifted young man, Tom. But I think from our point of view, we've, um, we've had to dig in in spells tonight. And I think it's been a game where... Derby's had, had periods on top of the game, we've had periods on top of the game and I think if you were away in the cold later day perhaps a, a point shared might be right but you know we can't help but, but feel immensely proud of our group, immensely proud of the, the, the just the quality and the, and the attention to detail to work hard which sounds easy and to work with a real, um, with a real integrity if you like in their play um, and, then, and then really just to be cut out in that last 10 minutes we just to empty fuel tanks, really. You've spoken about the bravery needed to play here at Ellen Road. Uh, you went behind early on. It was, wasn't a great goal to concede either, was it? No, I think I think Saul obviously thought the uh, the lad was going to drill it and opened his legs wider than the tunnel. And he the, he's a good player. He slips it in and puts it in. But that that makes it even harder because that's that's what we talk about. It's easy to go missing at Ellen Road. And thankfully we didn't go missing. Thankfully we 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 weathered a little few minutes of inconsistent play to to get a foot back on the ball. Then the goal came in a, a real strong period for us. And I think over the balance of the 45 we deserved to turn level. And um, and then you look at the second half and you think we deserve to go in front. And then they possibly might deserve to get an equaliser. But we we feel aggrieved in, in the way we're feeling when they get that. In the end, the match was screened live on Sky Sports after the Leeds president, Massimo Cellino, barred Sky's crew from entering Ellen Road as part of his protest against the number of times the club's been shown on TV. The lockout was lifted just minutes before the broadcaster's cut-off time. Radio Yorkshire reporter Joe Rawson managed to contact the Italian by text message on Tuesday afternoon. And Cellino hinted he won't be as lenient next time. He said... The reason for the lockout was the damage they've done to the club and the fans, just because we're different to them. But for the season, it's the last time. Interestingly, that game was Steve Evans' 13th in charge of Leeds, taking him past the average tenure of a boss under Cellino. Radio Yorkshire's matchday summariser Greg Abbott says the Scots' record since taking over speaks for itself. I think Steve, will, he's, for me, he's won, a, he's won everybody over, or he should do without and People should start supporting what's going on, the progression that the club and the team are making at the minute. You know, they've they played at Forest two days ago, real quick turnaround against probably the strongest in terms of finance and depth of squad in the division, probably the best team in on form, current form as well. And I think they're unlucky not to run out winners of this of this game. Certainly more than deserve the point. I don't think anybody can argue that. Fell behind early on. Uh, they didn't panic, did the Leeds? They stayed in it. You could argue a little bit of luck about the opening goal for, for Bamba that got Leeds level, but other than that, they've played really well. Yeah, I mean, it was. Uh, I say, look, I mean, we, we talked about putting the ball in the box and causing problems. That's what they did. So, in that respect, it was, a, it was fortunate they got a mistake from the goalkeeper that helped them on their way. But I just think the difference is now from six or seven or eight weeks ago is when they go a goal down at home now. They're getting back into the game, they're finding an equaliser, they're finding a winner and they're not rolling over, they were getting beat. Once they went behind before, they were getting beat and they were going out without a whimper and the fans were going away unhappy. No chances created, no efforts at goal, nothing to get them excited about. The fans are excited because the team have played with a desire and a determination to get them excited and get them involved in the game. And for that, they'll get 10 out of 10 from the crowd every week. Chris Wood was poor tonight got a standing ovation, scored his goal, got a standing ovation. He weren't great, but you know what? The crowd have accepted that he's run his socks off for two games, solid, on his own, up front, and that's the reward he's got right at the end before he snatches a hamstring. And that's why he's got a standing ovation, not because of his quality, because of the effort he's putting in for Leeds United.
So let's look at the championship table going into the new year. Middlesbrough currently lead the way with a game in hand over their promotion rivals. They include Hull City, who are five points behind in third. It's been a good first half of the season for Yorkshire clubs, with Sheffield Wednesday well in the hunt for the playoffs. They're currently seventh. Leeds have something to build on. They're twelfth and nine points off the top six. Let's have a look at the bottom half of the table, where, as you can see, Huddersfield and Rotherham are out of the bottom three at the moment, but they've got an important second half of the season ahead of them if they're to avoid the drop. So there you go, the end of another year. Will it be a dramatic promotion push for Leeds in 2016 or a limp collapse towards the relegation zone? Stay tuned to both Radio Yorkshire and TV Yorkshire to find out. We know it's going to be eventful. Mm -hmm.